guys, it's Laura from Lightning Cosplay. The last two years we've been working a lot with 3D printing and I know that a lot of cosplayers out there are also getting more and more into that. We've always been big fans of the Zortrex printers because they just have an amazing quality and we already have three of the M200 in our workshop. But we've always been super curious about these magical resin printers and then it happened that Zortrex contacted us to test one of their printers and of course we decided to take the Inkspire, which is this beautiful thing here. It was like destiny because we were just thinking about getting one of these for our cyberpunk projects. So in today's video I'm gonna talk about our experience with this printer and also gonna compare it to our Zortrex M200. So let's go! These resin printers always look so fancy and this touch screen makes it even fancier. Setting up the printer was super easy. You don't need to do any configurations or to assemble anything. You just need to pour in the resin and prepare your 3D model for printing with the Z suit. This is a printing software from Zortrex and we've been working with it for years now. It is super easy to use, especially for beginners. When you're done with your settings, you can send the 3D file to the printer via Wi-Fi. We often have problems with our workshop Wi-Fi, so we use the USB stick. The high resolution UV LCD screen lets the resin cures layer by layer. This means you can put as much as possible on the build plate and it has no effect on the printing time. You can print just one or 30 pieces at one time, it will have the same print time. Only the height increases the printing time. After printing, the 3D prints need to be cleaned. To remove excessive resin from the prints, you can use an ultrasonic cleaner, which is filled with isopropyl alcohol. When the prints were too big, we removed them from the build plate and then put them in the cleaner. Afterwards, the prints need to dry and then you need to wait until they are fully hardened. For that, we always put our prints to the windowsill and wait a few hours. The Inkspire is amazing when it comes to printing super tiny and also detailed pieces. For example, I printed these super thin nails for the cyberpunk hand. And also these super tiny parts for the mantis plate. To compare it with our M200, we printed these little buttons, which Ralph modeled a while ago for our All Geared cosplay. We printed them with the highest settings on the M200. Here you already see the main problem. The bottom side of an FDM print always looks like crap. This is normally not a big deal when you print big pieces, but the smaller and detailed your print get, you will always struggle with this problem. It took me ages to clean up these tiny buttons when we made the cosplay almost two years ago. And this is how the button looks like when printed with the Zontrix Inkspire. Here you can see the comparison. On the right one you can still see the layers and as I said before this is printed with the highest settings. The M200 is an amazing printer but for this kind of small prints I'm so happy to have the Inkspire. This is the eye part for the Cyberpunk Oni mask. The grey prints are test prints we made with our M200 before we printed the final piece with the Inkspire. We had to find the right shape and Valve had to do some adjustments on the 3D model after every print because it needed to fit perfectly to the mask I was working on. So since the resin is quite pricey, we first did some tests with the cheaper filament. But not everything went super well with the printer. One day, suddenly, some of our prints started to have these cracks and we could not figure out what the problem was. So we contacted Zortrex and they said that we probably have a broken LCD display. So they sent us a new one and we removed the broken display and installed the new one. It was actually super easy. And the reason why I'm telling you this story is because I just want to mention how amazing the Zortrex support is and also how easy it was to change the LCD display. Every time we had a problem with one of our printers in the past, we found a solution for this on their support center. Even if the resin prints are already super clean, we still needed to sand them and glue separated parts together and yeah, do all the work we normally do with an ABS print. But the prints are already so clean that this process is so much faster. We used the Inkspire for nearly most of the parts for the Mantis Blade we made for Cyberpunk. And the project just turned out so amazing. We also printed all the other small and detailed parts for the other big gun we made for Cyberpunk with the Inkspire. The bigger parts were all printed with the M200. 
The combination of the Inkspire and the M200 is the perfect solution for us. And this is how the final weapon turned out. We have been testing the Inkspire now for three months and for us it is just the perfect addition to our other printers. So if you are a prop maker or a jewelry artist or any other artist who needs to print small and detailed pieces, I would really recommend getting one of these printers. I know Zortrex printers are in the higher price range, but you not only get a high quality printer, the most important thing for us is that they are really reliable. So if you still have any questions, let us know in the comments. Then thanks for watching and I really hope you liked this video and maybe learned something about 3D printing. And then, as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and then hopefully see you next time. Bye bye!